exotic for his exotic chick. <laughs> guys welcome back to another vlog oh my god this is the first time picking up my camera after my whole viral moment <laughs> crazy um today is january 30th um it's like two o'clock in the afternoon i have been booked up with phone calls um with you guys um ever since that whole debacle where the world were um shaken up about my whole you know um tiktok video um but yeah so i had a bunch of phone calls i had to go to houston my friend was having a baby shower so i just kind of focused on that i wasn't really picking up the camera um so we are starting a new vlog today i was gonna go get my nails done i don't think i showed you guys these nails because that is literally how long i have gone without picking up the camera um i'm pretty certain <laughs> i have not shown you guys this i know i have some content that i might um upload tomorrow if it all kind of works together because i finally was recording after um the new year's eve vlog that i posted but i'm not sure if it like works for a vlog so we'll see if that's the case you guys will be getting a vlog tomorrow yeah, so i need to go get these nails done this was a cute little set i loved it it's like ombre but instead of like the light pink i did like um it's more like a brown and i don't know i just thought it was so cute and so classy and like goes with everything um but yeah so i've been getting ready for our trip i don't know if i told you guys this but we are going to switzerland and you guys know about my whole proposal in paris and last valentine's day so we have just made it a decision that every valentine's day we're gonna be in paris so we are planning for that but we are going to saint Moritz. <laughs> um that's how you say it i think um after paris for skiing and i'm super excited for that i got these boots ah, let me show you guys they are so cute all right i want to show you guys these boots that i got <laughs> that i plan on wearing in switzerland to take one of those um i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about but like those bikini photos with like boots the um hats or like the fluffy ear um thingies i'm so excited <laughs> but let me show you guys the shoes i got the boots from the same brand called cassidy um i got these shoes and they are so cute 
and they are these brown closed toe heels and like this is what the heels look like you guys know that i love brown so i had to get me a nice brown closed toe heel that i can wear in the winter time but i don't know i just thought this was so cute and it's like this a suede material they have some really nice uh shoes on their website but I don't know, I thought this was so cute. And then the boots. <laughs> and then the boots. The boots. I mean, this freaking package is huge, so I'm gonna put it down. Look how crazy big this freaking package is and how big these boots are. <gasps> crazy, but look at the material. It gives a snow angel. <laughs> but tell me, these are not the cutest snow boots, okay? And this is for obviously um, Apres Ski. Apres Ski. Basically, that's like the um, after skiing activities, which is like bar hopping partying you know around the mountain and stuff like this this is not to actually ski so i don't know this is gonna be so cute and this is like um let me call what do you call it it's like a over the knee pair of boots <sighs> so cute oh my god i'm super excited to wear it i actually have not tried it on yet all of the things are still inside of it but like kidding me <laughs> but yeah it's from the same brand um these were not cheap these were cute but like i didn't want to do like the basic like moon boots that everyone wears because like you know this one gives quite luxury because if you know what you know these are cassidy boots and uh these were not cheap and i'm super excited to wear them my only concern is how I'm going to pack all of this stuff. <laughs> Yesterday, I went to go pick up my computer. So another reason why I hadn't been uploading videos was because I think I talked about it in one of my Vlogmas videos. During Vlogmas, I definitely felt a little bit of a Mercury retrograde or whatever they call it because I woke up and my computer was just damaged um so because i didn't want to take it to the apple store and miss some days of you know vlogmas i decided that i was gonna wait until after um the holidays and so i finally took it to the apple store um i took it to the apple store in like chestnut hill and if you know where chestnut hill is you know that it's like a really nice area they have a little mall there that's always so quiet it doesn't have a lot of like you know um shops but i was able to walk around um and check out a couple of shops there i also checked out the cheesecake factory there i had not been into a cheesecake factory until yesterday for probably like nine years like when i tell you guys i was determined to find me a man where i made it a point to not even go to like any low quality restaurants like i was only going where the rich folks would go <laughs> for almost like what nine years um the last time i was there i was with my sister and i had to have been like 21 because at the time i lived in that area with one of my old um sugar daddies um but anyway so yeah i ended up going to the mall there to pick up my computer because it was finally ready and so i decided to check out Bloomingdale's. i got some stuff from there I got some Chanel stuff. So I got this Chanel brush mainly because I had applied this, um, what do you call it? This powder. Um, it's a loose powder. And I don't know. I thought it was so cute and such an effortless like match on my face. And it was just like the perfect coverage for if like if I didn't want to wear foundation for like a day that i just wanted to have like a nice coverage but very light um i tried this and i loved it um 
And then I got a lip gloss. I was gonna say, where's my lip gloss? <laughs> And then I got a lip gloss. You guys know I love me some lip gloss. Um, and I don't like color on my lips. So I definitely tried this on and I loved it. And it just feels so moisturizing. Like, and as you can see, like, it leaves no color. And I love it. Ooh. I love that. That's what I got from Bloomingdale's. I also got a Max Mara coat. Um, and I'm so excited because I had been needing a black coat that was elegant and could go with a lot of outfits. And you guys know that I have my Hermes coat, but my Hermes coat was more on like the grayer side. Um, I also have my Burberry coat, which is, you know, more trench coat. Um, and it's brown so I needed something black and like cute and I also got another one coming in the mail um, from another side I believe it's called noir something anyway so I have two coats come in that I'm super excited about that I'm also definitely going to be taking with me to um, Switzerland um, yeah i've been trying to you know grow my coat collection in like nice quality coats that i can wear with any outfit i can dress up i can dress down you know what i mean like i'm in my fashion era i mean i've always been like a good dresser but i'm basically revamping my closet slowly started with like you know bags obviously i've been doing that for a while and then i've started with clothing items shirts jeans stuff like that and so now i'm doing more of my jackets you know just so that i can really put some really nice outfits together um so that's another thing that i got from bloomingdale's but that is going to be coming in a couple of days so i'm excited about that um and then I went into this store. It's called Uniqlo. I think I mentioned it before. And I got these cute, just like everyday running errands, but comfortable sets. Uh, they were like super inexpensive, but like I don't mind buying inexpensive things to like run errands in. Um, but it's like these pants super comfortable but cute and they come with this cute like cardigan top you can wear like a nice shirt inside and then you know unbutton it or button it up i don't know i just thought this would be so cute to wear to like you know run errands and just be cute while i'm doing like casual things um so i got it in gray i also got it in this beige color and i also got it in brown these were pretty inexpensive so i was like let me stock up on them because honestly i don't mind wearing the same thing every day to go run errands because who's seeing me who am i trying to impress i just want to look cute and put together enough you know what i mean um so yeah that's what i got from uniqlo went to j crew as well and i got some cute basics from there i love love basics you can never have enough basics and honestly i just feel like j crew is not a store that i usually go into often but they definitely had some cute basics it's definitely a store for the um business woman like if you're looking for blazers and dress pants and dress shirts and like outfits to wear to you know work and stuff like that definitely check out j crew but they also had some really cute like basics and i had to pick up a couple of stuff so i got this cute top beige i saw this top this was actually the first thing i saw when i walked in and i was like this is so cute in the material so soft it's like cashmere i just amazing and then i just picked up some basic white tops that i can wear with jeans 
and you know just look really cute I got two of those or three I think because honestly you can never have enough white tops um, and then I got this one but it's different because it has these buttons here but like I said you can never have enough white tops and then I saw this black top and I just really liked the structure of the top like how it was designed it's basic but it's just I don't know like the shape of it is so different and just so cute and I just I can't wait to wear it with some jeans and some heels and then like my coat eats okay and then last but not least I went into Ann Taylor which is also another store that I usually never go to the reason why all of these stores are at this mall is because this mall is in a neighborhood that is like filled with like really really old rich folks okay like you want to see the biggest mansions in massachusetts this is where you would want to go so this is where tom brady used to live with giselle okay the houses are humongous um so the people that live there are very old old money so the mall is not catering to young folks right it's just more stores for advertisement purposes right and also for like the older ladies to come and do some shopping without having to come into the city it's not too far from the city i would say it took me 20 minutes to get there drive um with no traffic but yeah like places like ann taylor j crew like that's you know that's where you will find them so um i went into ann taylor and actually found this really cute okay this is not gonna open up but i found these this is like a legging but like in pants form as well and it's high-waisted and when i tell you that this is literally my favorite style when it comes to pants and it was comfortable it's like wearing leggings it's stretchy and it's high waisted and it was long enough that it went all the way to my ankle which means i can wear some heels and it's not going to look crazy oh my god if you are a tall woman i know you ha like understand the struggle when it comes to shopping for pants like it's so hard for me to find long pants that like are long enough to you know go all the way to my ankles like if it goes past my ankle i'm even happier <laughs> um so when i tried this on and it was long enough and then also high-waisted and then the material is just fit in and it was on sale i was like oh i need to have it and i asked if they had more but they didn't i think this was the last one because it was on sale so of course i went online and i typed in the exact um pant and the exact code for the pants and found it online and i ordered two more so yeah because <laughs> honestly you can never have enough of these pants in your collection like it doesn't matter i could wear this today and then wear another one tomorrow no one will know and it's just so cute and so elegant chef's kiss and then i saw this cute little cardigan blazer thing and i just thought this was really cute like picture that top that i just showed you the black one throw this over it with some jeans some close toe heels eating with some gold jewelry um yeah i think that is all of the stuff that i got yesterday i got quite a lot of stuff um but honestly i always feel like i need more clothes i i don't care what anyone says you can really never have enough clothes um so i'm super excited about you know wearing these things even the basic ones i think i'm actually gonna put one of the um outfits that i got from uniqlo because i don't know maybe i should go and get my nails done today i should probably go get it over with um 
Thursday, something exciting is happening. I don't want to jinx it, I don't want to jinx it, but uh, Thursday is an exciting day. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, let me put this stuff away and then um, I have some laundry to fold. I've been watching Chrisella, Chriselda on Netflix and Good Show. So I want to put this stuff away, um, fold my laundry and watch my show because it's kind of snowing outside. So I don't think today is going to be a day where we are going anywhere. It's been a few hours later. It's a 519. I was just kind of cleaning up my closet, organizing. Um, I'm wearing one of the sets that I was telling you guys I got from Uniqlo. Um, it actually kind of looks like it's like homeware. You can wear it for both. It's actually very comfortable. I wish it had like pockets. I got the pants in a large. They're really big on me. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, I got them that way because, to be honest with you, I know that they're going to shrink when I put them in the wash. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm in the kitchen because I'm about to make myself some nachos. I ended up just doing some laundry um, after cleaning up my closet, and I did not put on my show. So I'm going to make myself some nachos as a snack and then i'm going to go and watch my show i wish it was like all in english but it's in spanish as well so it's hard because i have to like squint to see the words because <laughs> i really need to get classes um but yeah we did not end up going to get our nails done today but we are gonna go tomorrow for sure i'm thinking about i'm thinking about making myself a mocktail i don't care what anyone says i make a mean mocktail okay this honestly tastes so refreshing i know i say that every time about the mocktails that i make but this honestly tastes really refreshing i have in here seltzer water <laughs> you guys already know that um some ginger beer it is a non-alcoholic ginger beer okay there is no actual alcohol in it a little bit of this raspberry hibiscus syrup <gasps> this is what just gives it that flavor i don't know where i got this from but i need to go in buy some more like different flavors because my mocktail kind of always tastes the same because I use the same flavor. But this time around, I added ginger beer. So good. This is just like when you feel like sipping something at home that makes you feel like you're sipping a cocktail or something without actually taking in alcohol. So it's so good. With that being said, I am going to go ahead and make my nachos so that I can go and watch my show. Tomorrow we have some errands to run. I gotta get my nails done. Thursday is an exciting day, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so cheers. Good night. Good afternoon, you guys. It is the next day. Today is Wednesday, January 30th first it's three o'clock in the afternoon and we are about to go get my nails done i have on this aloe hat my hermes jacket i don't think i vlogged when me and bay went and picked up this jacket like it's super cute 
and it has Hermes right here. I don't know. I have on that two piece that I had on yesterday. Um, because I didn't go anywhere, I just threw it back on. I'm about to go get my nails done. I have a mint in my mouth, so don't mind me. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and go get these nails done and uh, come back. It is a gloomy day outside. Can you guys tell? Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> I love me some Spanish music, okay? Anyways, we are on our way to the nail salon. It is not safe out here. It is cold, okay? When I say cold, I mean freezing. But we've got to go get our nails done so we look pretty. And yeah. That is what it takes to be a, a beautiful girl, eh? We made it let's go in here and get our nails done I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm probably just gonna do um, French something different than this this was like ombre I don't know if you guys can see that can you guys see that yeah so that was like ombre so we might just go back to you know French or just like a nice light pink but something cute. I should do something for Valentine's Day. Actually, I should do French and add like a red heart. I think I saw like a girl do that on TikTok. And so I might do that on my nails. But we still have a little while before Valentine's Day. And I'm definitely going to have to get my nails done before the trip. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just do French so that I can save that for, you know, the nails I get for the trip. Um, for Valentine's Day, but let's go ahead and get in here and get our nails done. I have a one-on-one -on -one phone call in 10 minutes, so I'm going to be taking it in here. Luckily, there's no one in here, so <laughs> why is my face so greasy? <laughs> but yeah, so finishing up my toes and then... The nails and then I'll see you guys when I'm in my car so that I can do this one call. Alright you guys so it's been I want to say like an hour and a half two hours later I came back from the nail salon I did my phone call um and so all is good we are on schedule it's like six o'clock um and I wanted to show you guys the nails so this is what I ended up doing just some basic French <laughs> um, nails. Like I said, these are my go-to. You know what I mean? Like I just like a nice, classy, elegant um, nail. I did take it down and I changed the shape. Um, the shape was pointy before and I got, you know, coffin and absolutely loved it. But remember yesterday I was telling you guys that I had ordered some um, stuff for my ski trip. They came. Oh, I want to say, so I was supposed to go tomorrow to pick up something, which is super exciting. Um, but Bay is going to be busy with work, so we are not going to be doing that tomorrow. We are going to be doing that on um, Friday. And I'm super excited. Like, you guys don't even know what it is. Like you can probably guess <laughs> you can probably guess um because what do i go crazy about like what do i like i mean i'm in my closet and so take a guess <laughs> um anyways but my max mara coat came and i'm super excited 
to open her and show you guys. I cannot show you guys like the package because like I said, my apartment building, they do in, <laughs> they do in unit delivery. So they write like the unit number all over the package so that the people that are delivering it up to the room, I guess don't mess up. So I don't post it. We have the Max Amara box. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Ah, there we go. That opens up like this. They give you a garment bag that says Max Mara on it. There's this plastic Theranes one. It's like such good quality. It's insane. And then my receipt. says Max Mara. Let me let me try her on. Let's 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 try her on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys can't really see it. Let me see. Maybe I can put the camera down. But here she is. Ah. Ah. It's such good quality. It's so elegant. It's so cute. It's like my Hermes one, but black. And I don't know, it's just so cute. Um, definitely not cheap, but not as expensive as the Hermes one, but I love her. My first Max Mara coat. And then I got another package. This package is from the brand Aperis for like Aperis Ski. So they sell like ski stuff. So remember I told you guys um, that I'm going skiing in Switzerland with Bay. That's our like Valentine's Day trip. Well, Paris is our Valentine's Day. That's where we're gonna be, but then we're gonna go to Switzerland to ski. So I've been getting stuff for skiing. The um, Max Mara coat was for like dinner time. When we go out to dinner and I'm wearing a dress to have a nice coat. Um, and so I got some just like cute stuff for skiing. I got a lot. <laughs> um, but this site, like, they had nice stuff. It wasn't too expensive. So I was able to get a bunch of different things, starting with this. What do you call this? These ear things? What do they call these? But like, <laughs> picture me. You guys know I love me a brown and a nude, like, so cute so i got these ear what do you call these ear muffins um yeah whatever so i got one of those they had some really cute um fake fur jackets but this wouldn't be considered fur anyways right like this is like i don't know what's this material but i got this cute jacket and like i wasn't thinking just like obviously the ski trip but like imagine this with like jeans you know what i mean like a nice black top like i don't know it's so cute it's so soft it has a pocket 
I told you guys, I'm all about getting a bunch of like coats and jackets just to elevate my outfits. Cause I've just had such a hard time with, you know, pairing the coats that I already have with outfits. So I'm trying to expand my collection um, with expensive, like I have my Hermes, I have my Max Mara, I have my Burberry, I have Polo, I have, you know, like, all different ranges when it comes to price of jackets and just like i don't know i just thought this was so cute i have another jacket that's on its way um they have not sent me like a shipping information or anything but yeah another thing i got from the aparis site is this hat let me take this out off don't mind my but this hat I got. Are you kidding me? It is so soft. It's the same material. Ooh, I don't want my wig to come off with it. <laughs> it's the same material as the um, black coat that I just showed you guys, but in brown. And it's so and I just know I'm gonna rock this every day in Switzerland um, just to like, you know, elevate my ski look. This one, I don't know what this material is called. I think it's Sherling. Um, the guy that was working with me at Max Mara, he called this the Teddy um, material. They have one. I do not like the interior of this jacket, but... <laughs> the outside of it is cute like look at the interior the interior does not give but this is what it's gonna look like yeah okay talk about keeping warm I could have gotten this in a extra small it's definitely big on me this is what it looks like it's definitely on the bigger side um i think this is a small i could have gotten an extra small but you know something it's perfect for this new england weather when it's cold outside and like you know with like a nice outfit inside with boots <laughs> yeah period i'm out here on this ski resort eating <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna pack all of this stuff but we're gonna figure it out <laughs> last but not least i got a pair of ski pants and this is what they look like They're beige. My first ever ski pants. I'm so excited, guys. I wonder what this is gonna look like on. They definitely look like they'll fit. Yeah. But yeah, got some ski pants. And yeah, that is all I got in the mail today. I ordered some Chick-fil-A. That's what I'm having for dinner. Um, I had my phone call. It's been a pretty productive day. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna be having dinner with my friend. Um, we are going to be doing some work on the computer tomorrow. So yeah, I'm back, period. Today is a Thursday, February 1st. Can you guys believe we're already two months into the new year? That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I am on my way to Target because I want to go get like these little baskets for my linen closet where I have like towels and sheets that are clean. Like I would like to put them like in a little basket versus just having them like on the shelf like in the closet that's in my master bedroom. <clears throat> So I want to go get those so I can organize that closet a little bit. I put my robes in there. 
um, and then I also hang like not hang but I also have my sheets and clean towels and stuff like that in there so I just want to find ooh, these bumps I just want to find a way to like keep that space organized <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah so that is what we are doing today and then later on we are gonna go get some sushi because I love love me some sushi and my favorite sushi place is Azuma so yeah I'm excited about that I hate when people pull up to the car so freaking close like you in my business don't do that Yep, so Target, I was gonna start editing, uh, but I didn't, uh, and I said I was going to, but we'll see. Maybe I'll go into Target and then sit at Starbucks in Target and edit. Is that tacky? I feel like that's tacky, but I don't care. I also want to see if I could get some more pajamas, because the Target pajamas be so comfortable. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. Look how smart I am. So the bins that I got, I ended up using them as my um, bags to take my groceries and everything upstairs. And this is gonna make it so much easier because I can just put it on the cart and take it up the elevator. But this is so much better than having those Target bags. But tell me why I spent $300 in robes and pajamas. Crazy. Alright you guys, I've been home for a little bit, putting things away, but I wanted to show you guys the bins that I got from Target. This looks so much better. I have towels in here, I have sheets in here, hand towels, and like um, bathroom mats, and then in here I just have like miscellaneous, so you guys know I babysit my nephew, so I had some extra diapers, some sheets for his bed. Um, my steamer and then I have like you know like just the little little things that were in here um, and I think this looks so much better I got my robes and I got my um, linen stuff and then the rest is just my Hermes boxes that <laughs> I'm holding on to because <sighs> you never know when you're gonna need an orange box or something um, but yeah, so this is what this closet looks like and it just looks so much better. My anxiety is not flaring up right now because before all of this was just like on there, but this is so much better. So much better. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to go get some more of these bins for my closet. Um, yeah, so cute. This is the robe that I got from Target. So cute. I already had this brown one, but I got this blue one and I also got this white one. All right, you guys. So I am dressed and headed to dinner. The um, pants are those pants that I got from Ann Taylor. So cute, so comfortable. Um, the top is from J Crew. It's that basic black top. Thought it was so cute. Um, this is my Max Mara coat that I showed you guys yesterday. And the shoes are the brown Cassidy or Cassidy, however you say it, um, heels that I just got. This is the stack. I'm not gonna, oh, geez. This is the stack. I'm not going to go through everything you guys already know. And then I am taking 28 in gold. I added this twilly on it to give it like some color. I finally did something with my lips today. I usually don't, but I did a little lip liner and some lip gloss. And yeah. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday. It is 1.32 in the afternoon. Me and Bay were watching movies early this morning. 
Um, and then we just had breakfast. I just came out of the shower. I have this robe that I got from Target. It is the cutest thing ever. Um, but I have something so exciting to unbox for you guys. Um, I did not bring you guys along yesterday when we went to the Hermes store because my battery was dead, but I obviously took some footage on my phone. super excited to show you guys what I got oh, geez. super excited to show you guys what I got for Valentine's Day slash baby it's Black History Month <laughs> reparations okay I'm just kidding <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm so excited to show you guys um, we are going to Paris next week and then we're going to Switzerland and you know last year we went to Paris um, for Valentine's Day as well and I got my um, pink like the light pink Birkin um, and then we were there in the summertime as well and I got a bag it wasn't a Birkin or a Kelly um, so this time around I told my sales lady like you know what if you can get me a bag before we leave that way when I go to Paris like if I go to the restaurant I'm like hey you guys have an appointment and you know they can't get me anything at least I got my Valentine's Day gift already but mm -mm. when I show you guys you guys are gonna be like oh my god it is so crazy how life works <laughs> but yeah so that's what I'm doing I am about to do all of my facial stuff. Um, really nothing has changed. I have kind of picked out these products and I've stuck with them and I'm not changing them. Um, I feel like a lot of people might have skin problems because of the fact that they're always trying new products and like stuff like that. And I think like once you find something that works for you, just stick with it and like you will see the progress like crazy because <laughs> My skin used to be terrible, um, but now I found these products that I really like and I just stick with them because I know that they will never ever do me wrong, you know? Like I would hate to try a new product and then it like breaks me out or maybe I'm allergic to something, you know what I mean? So I think the key to having good skin is sticking to what works for you. You know, like I would like to go to Sephora and just buy everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, is it good for me? Is it good for my skin? Does my skin like it? You know what I mean? Um, so like when I go into Sephora, I try to keep it very like normal. I just buy the same stuff. This Kiehl's um, Clearly Corrective Dark Spot, if you have hyperpigmentation, I kid you not, it freaking works. Oh, can you guys see it? It works. <laughs> it really does. Cause look at my freaking skin. You know, like it's not perfect, but it's pretty even. Um, but yeah. It's a nice sunny day out today. It's been quite gloomy this past week. Tomorrow is Sunday. I'm gonna go see my mom. I have not seen her in like two weeks maybe. So I wanna see her before I leave for Europe next week. So let me finish my facial routine and then we will meet again in my closet hey you guys i have an exciting unboxing to do it is a black history month and it's also valentine's month so of course i have a gift obviously it's an orange box 
Yes. Super excited that my Hermes sales lady came through with my Valentine's Day gift early. I'm super excited to unbox it for you guys and show you guys. It is a bag. I don't have one of these in my um, collection. So I'm super excited to show you guys. She is so pretty. I guess this is ASMR because I'm not saying anything. <laughs> there isn't much to say once you see the bag. Oh my God, she's so cute. <laughs> Keep in mind, I've seen it already. I'm just giving you guys my honest reaction, how I reacted in the store. <laughs> But here she is. <sighs> she is stunning. Let's see. I gotta, I gotta learn how to. Uh, there we go. Open her up. Here she is. Are you kidding? Do you guys see how amazing she is? So this is a Hermes Constance uh, bag. This is a croc leather. It's like this blue color like it's so pretty it almost looks like it's black but it's actually blue it's dark blue this is my fiance's favorite color this rose gold hardware i don't know if you guys can tell but she is stunning this is my first croc I have the Ostrich Kelly, I have my Alligator Skin Louis Vuitton bag, but this is my first croc. Yes guys, look at my bag. I was filming it for TikTok, so that's why I was looking this way, but look at my new Hermes Constance bag. She is croc. She is beautiful. She is stunning. Literally. Perfect. I absolutely love her. I'm wearing her tonight. Me and Bay are going out to dinner with his um, couple friend and their kids. So I'm super excited to take this out with me today. I don't know where I'm going to put her. I'm literally running out of space in my closet, guys. Like, I really don't even know where I'm going to put her. But we got to find a spot for her call me exotic coco period because i am exotic for his exotic chain <laughs> <laughs> some hours later um what is today actually it's been a couple of days i have been feeling so sick <sighs> today is uh wednesday february 7th um i honestly started feeling sick like i want to say two days ago um i don't know but i just did not feel good um so i've just been kind of taking the past couple of days to just kind of relax um you know obviously the weekend me and bay had some fun we went out to eat and stuff like that but yeah i'm not feeling so well today so 
um i just got up this morning i made some tea you guys saw that um and then i just had like a little snack some strawberries bananas and um some like peanut butter crackers um i really just wanted to do the tea and i was like let me film it because i kind of felt a little better when i woke up this morning um but by the time i was done making the tea and drinking the tea girl i was ready to go back to bed um so i literally have been in bed all day and then i did get in the tub because i had a phone call um with one of you guys and oh i don't know why my back is hurting but yeah i had a phone call with one of you guys um and so i had to do that oh that felt so weird i decided to take it while i was in the tub so i feel better and i got a package but uh, I don't like the sound this cutter is making. It's making my teeth like. But it's really just another jacket. This is from the brand Noor Hammer. This is it. It's on the wrapping paper. Um, it is a not cheap, but it's also um a lot more uh cheaper than the hermes um coat that i have i think it's around the same price as max mara for sure um yeah so i don't know i saw it and i liked it and i just thought it'd be really cute to have not only for my trip but also um while i am at home in boston I want to be looking nice and fashionable. Okay. But this is her. And she is long, thick. And like, this is like custom made, I believe. Like, they make it once you order it. Um, but yeah. Let me see. I think I got a size 36. Ooh. Yeah, she is long, guys. So nice. The thing is, where am I going to put her? <laughs> I'm running out of space in my closet. Okay, how do you... There we go. I'm like, I'm going to it. But this is she... This is the material. It's 100% lamp fur, actually. But let's try her on, shall we? Hey. Yes. Period. We just get never. <laughs> See the material. This is so nice, guys. Like, are you kidding me? Oh my god. This is amazing. And look how long it is. Like together though. It's given <laughs> I'm corny. Don't mind me guys. <laughs> But yeah, no, I absolutely love her. And yeah, this is perfect for the weather. Just like, I could just picture it with a nice dress. It could be short, it could be long. I could wear boots, I can wear heels. I mean, I can wear anything. Guys, that was it, that was all for today. I'm about to go to bed. <sighs> call it a night and then um hopefully tomorrow i'm feeling much better because <clears throat> i really need to start getting ready for our trip we literally leave on monday yeah at like 6 p.m so i need to start packing i need to make sure that we have enough suitcases I need to go and get my nails done though i did get my nails done like last week it is time for me to like you know 
I get them done again, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, something for Valentine's Day, so it looks nice and pretty. So that's it for today. I will see you guys on tomorrow, which is gonna be Thursday. The housekeepers are coming. So tomorrow is gonna be a good day to like run all my errands and do like the stuff that I need to do, you know, while they're here. Cause I don't like when I'm here when they're here. <laughs> Anyways, bye guys. Good morning, you guys. It is 10.22 Thursday. I'm about to wash my face and um, I need to do a couple of things around the house before the housekeepers come. I believe Bay and his partner, business partner, are gonna stop by um, to pick up a few things because they're going skiing in Vermont. So I need to like, you know, clean and um just get things tidy up i need to fold laundry towels um yeah so let's just do our face and um get started Tell me why I had this on the wrong way since last night. Anyways, couldn't really tell the difference, so that's fine. Gotta go into the living room now because I have some stuff on my couch that I need to fold. Um, mainly like sheets and towels and stuff. Um, I try to change my sheets twice a week, so um, once when the housekeepers are here, they'll do it and then I'll do it one time during the week. Um, so I'm always washing sheets and obviously always washing towels. All right, you guys, the housekeepers are here. So I am about to head out of the house. Um, let me see if I can show you guys my outfit. But I have on this Loewe tank, jeans, my Chanel boots, threw over this little lamb skin. It's not real. This one's actually fake, but I actually got real lambskin um, coat. I showed you guys, what was it, last night? Yes. This one I got from this website called Aperis. It's like for skiing, so that's where I got like all my ski stuff. I think I showed you guys too. Um, but yeah, so I just threw this over, taking my new everyday croc bag. She's not my new everyday bag, but you know what I mean. It's like my new bag to pick <laughs> these days when i'm going out because she's new um but yeah so that is ooh, zoom out but yeah so that is the um outfit let me see So yeah, my Uber is here. I'm gonna run out for a little bit so the housekeepers can finish cleaning and then we will come back home. I have a dinner. What is going on? I have a dinner planned later with um, one of you guys. She booked like my Holy Grail session and I think I'm gonna incorporate like going quote unquote freestyling with me basically i show you how to be out and about freestyling and stuff on my website i am gonna up the price um to like 500 dollars because no 
Um, but if you want to, you know, book that, it's on my website. It's the Holy Grail one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. But, yeah, let's go. It's for Eric, you love when I share it. Let's talk about Frankie, you love when he's banging. You know what I'm on. It's for Gerald, I'm at.